Ah, magnets. They're not just for decorating the fridge. They're hiding everywhere. The earphones you're wearing right now, the computer or phone you're watching this video on. There's a big one right under your feet at this very moment. One place they aren't hiding, or at least shouldn't be, is your belly. So what would happen if you swallowed one? Would you become a walking magnet yourself? Or would you just become more attractive? Uh, excuse me, Steve from Legal here with a short but crucial disclaimer. Please do not ever try to swallow a magnet in real life. This is very hazardous to your health and will require immediate medical attention. Thank you for listening. Whoa, sorry about that. Steve is very careful. Of course, you shouldn't swallow a magnet in hopes of gaining some superpowers. But let's just go on a crazy hypothetical journey. Uh, excuse me, crazy hypothetical? I know, Steve, calm down. You're not responsible for any of my fantastical wonderings. But let me have a little fun, will you? So, you've swallowed a special magnetic capsule that only exists in my story. <clears throat> Gulp. It enters your stomach and endows you with magnetic properties. You immediately run to the fridge to check the results. You take a souvenir magnet and try to stick it to yourself. It repels. Oops, wrong side. You know, when the same sides of two magnets are pressed against each other, then magnetic resistance appears. You flip the magnet around and ding, it sticks. Strange feeling. Kind of cold. And now it looks like your belly button is sending you greetings from Niagara Falls. You giggle. Okay, that's enough. You put it back on the fridge. You remember that trip to Niagara Falls last summer and staying in a hotel? Now, you wouldn't even need a key card. You could just wave your hand over the lock Jedi style, and the door would open like that. Wait! You could get into any hotel room in the city right now. And that gives you an idea. The receptionist greets you. You try to hide your nervousness and start with the whole just visiting a friend story. But you're caught in an awkward situation when you can't give a name or room number. I mean, um, I'm here to book a room. As she's taking your information, you feel yourself being pulled. The elevators are right around the corner. You try to fight it. Cash your card. Her voice snaps you back to reality. You pull your hand to your wallet, but then you realize there's a magnetic strip on your debit card. You could use this strip to pay. But what if… By card, you say, and hold your palm over the card reader. The device reads your hand like a magnet, but there's obviously no money on it. The receptionist gives you a strange look. You'll uh, need to insert your card. You know what? I need to withdraw some cash. Have a nice day! There goes that idea. Eh, even if it did work. It wouldn't have been honest snooping around the rooms like that. Uh, good point. We need to demonstrate honesty to our viewers. Nothing illegal. Yeah, thanks, Steve. You leave the hotel and decide to grab a bite. Your favorite diner is just a couple of blocks down the road. You feel so in tune with your surroundings. Well, kind of pulled and repelled by all the metal around you. The car zooming by, zippers and jewelry on each passerby, the loose change in everyone's pockets. Oh, that's an idea. Nah, don't even think about it. No more shenanigans. Plus, you're starving and you're already at the diner. As soon as you walk in, the utensils on all the tables start vibrating. You can hear pots and pans clanging together in the kitchen. Uh-oh. You pick a table in the far corner and order your favorite dish. Baked chicken with mushrooms. As the waiter's writing down your order, all of a sudden his pen flies out of his hand and sticks to your forehead. He's speechless. You know what? Can I change that to a plate of seafood with a side of black-eyed peas? He nervously takes the pen off your head. Uh, coming right up. Shrimp, oysters, tuna, chickpeas, beans. They're rich in iron, and that's exactly what you're craving. You've become a magnet, and any magnet loses its strength over time. Therefore, you need a lot of metal to fuel your new superpower. With your magnetic belly full, you pay for your meal and head outside. Some music would be nice. As soon as you put your earphones in, they immediately bounce. Magnetic resistance, remember? There's a small magnet inside each earphone. Okay, no music today. The sounds of the city will do. As you walk down the street, you get that same weird feeling again. Like you're being drawn by some huge magnet. It leads you down to the subway. The controller stops and checks you through a metal detector. And, of course, the thing starts going nuts. 
all devices start wigging out because of strong electromagnetic power. The controller is as confused as the waiter and the hotel receptionist, but a clear search grants you access to the platform. You're going down the escalator. There are no people around right now, which means you can have some fun. You close your eyes and feel all the mechanisms in the escalator. Then you make it go faster. <laughs> You're at the bottom in less than a minute. The train's door closes right before you get in. But you can use your new magneto powers to open it, and you're on your way. You get off at the last station, the outskirts of the city. And is that… uh-oh… a junkyard. The magnetic crane pulls you. You try to fight it, but you can't resist. Thankfully, the yes confused worker operating the thing turns it off before it can pick you up off the ground. Before he can ask any questions. You decide to get out of this place and fast. You hitchhike a ride to the countryside. Well, hitchhike might not be the word for it. You stick yourself to a passing car heading further away from the city. A fun perk of your new powers. The driver doesn't know, so no harm done. You unstick yourself when you've reached a good spot. It's pitch black, quiet, not a single metal object around you, only trees and the ground. You can still feel the power of magnetism, but where's it coming from? You look at your compass. The arrow spins erratically in different directions. If compasses work thanks to the Earth's magnetic field, it must mean you're throwing it off. At this moment, you realize what magnet is pulling you to itself. Our whole planet is one giant magnet. And the center of this magnet is the Earth's iron and nickel core. You touch the ground and feel that the signal is coming from there. Ooh, think of the possibilities! You could move the Earth, make it spin faster, slower. The whole world is in your hands. Um, I wouldn't go playing with that if I were you. The planet is right where it needs to be. Thanks. What's left then? Well, have some fun with your new superpowers. Uh, legal fun. We got it, Steve. Thanks. You can not only stick fridge magnets to yourself, you can also become a huge magnet for a large industrial refrigerator. You'll become the best treasure hunter. Your body is a metal detector. Who needs pocket change when you can find a chest of coins buried in some forgotten place? Or even better, use this magnetism for a good cause. You see, the planet's electromagnetic field protects us from flashes of solar winds that hit the Earth. But not 100%. The field is raging because of these solar flares, and then it forms magnetic storms. They affect the work of electricity and can even cause headaches in some people. You can become a superhero by stopping these storms. Or, now that you feel the fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field, you can predict earthquakes. Magnetism is so influential and powerful, not only on our planet, but also in the universe. There are cosmic objects called magnetars that are huge neutron stars with a magnetic field so strong that it can attract and destroy entire planets. Hmm. You know what? I'll let you finish the story down in the comments. What would you do if you were magnetic? And if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. Um, Steve? Uh, yeah, here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life. How was that?